Hi, I'm Andre, and the Power Rangers hype is strong. The movie trailer has come out. The official trailer, the last one was a teaser. This is the official one. I already did a reaction and quick thoughts video about it. That was my earlier video, but this is gonna be the full breakdown. I'll tell you all the little bits and pieces that they showed and what I think about each individual piece because they showed a lot. All the stuff that we've pretty much been asking for since we saw the teaser trailer. What are the suits gonna look like? What are the Zords gonna look like? What's the monster gonna be? All of that is in this trailer. I'm breaking it down. Zordon. We got our very first look at Zordon in this movie. He reminds me of those toys. You remember those toys with like the little pins and you could stick your hand or anything in it and it would make the shape of whatever you stuck into it with the pins. And then sometimes if you were your head was small enough, you could try to stick your hand in it and make it look like your face. That's what Zordon kind of reminds me of in this trailer. But you know what? I like it. Looks like he's gonna be able to move across the wall in the command center. I thought that was a creative way to make it still kind of attached to that old school Zordon, but doing it in their way, doing it that would work for how it would look in a movie. I think that's a really cool Zordon, as opposed to just having him in one spot in a tube, having him actually be able to move around the command center is a neat thing, and it's a cool little effect. And of course, you got Brian Cranston doing it, and that just works. I mean, he just has a presence and a voice so I like him. Alpha 5 looks okay. I had a little bit of concerns about Alpha 5 when we saw those, those images and those toys, but in the trailer, he looks fine. This is again why I think seeing things in trailers are a lot better than seeing concept art or a lot better than seeing toys. Alpha 5 is Alpha 5. That's one I'm not gonna get worked up over. There's another character that I'm still, I still can't get over, but Alpha 5, I'm like, you know what? That's how he looks. Bill Hader's doing his voice or some comedic relief in this. He's chill, he's cool, I can accept it. We also get a little bit more of the humor in this one. I know the last trailer was very dramatic. Some of the jokes work and some of them don't uh, because that's pretty much how Power Rangers humor is. Power Rangers humor is cheesy. Anyone is all like, I don't like the jokes in this thing. I'm like, have you ever heard the jokes in Power Rangers? My favorite joke in this thing is when they finally reveal what their colors are. They're in the water about to go to the command center, I suppose, and they're glowing in the color of what their suits are gonna be. Zack is glowing black and Billy is glowing blue. And so Zack just looks straight at Billy and just goes, I'm black. <laughs> and Billy's like, what? And Zack just goes, I am. I thought it was funny because it was a funny joke. I thought it was funny because it was obviously making reference to the fact that the black guy was the Black Ranger in the original series. Zack was originally the Black Ranger, Walter Jones. They didn't do that for this movie, so they made a reference to it. When they can realize some of the silly things that they've done, and make humor about it, make fun of themselves, kind of point and say, yeah, we did that, we silly. And I like that. If the movie can do that, I wish some of the fandom <laughs> could do that the same way, but man, that was a cool joke. Now, the one about Trini, she tells her story of what happened to her, and then I guess her mom puts a cup down, a medical cup, and is like, pee in that cup. Okay, one, Trini broke the rules. You're not supposed to tell anybody your secret identity. You wrong for that, Trini, and two, uh, is her mom a nurse? I really hope her mom is a nurse or they're in a hospital kitchen because why do you have a random pea cup just around in your house? Like, is that something that you hold on to? Is Trini a bad person that you've constantly had to check her pee to make sure she wasn't doing drugs? And so you just happen to have a stash of pea cups? Did you go to Sam's Club or and they had like a sale going on on a bulk <laughs> amount of pea cups? And you're like, well, I don't really need pea cups, but it's $4.99 for 200 Let's get them. It was just a random joke, but again, Power Rangers humor. These Power Rangers love to jump a lot and they are showing a lot of power outside of their suits. And I know some people are like, no, they can't do that. First off, Power Rangers jumped a lot in the show too, especially when they were in their suits, they would flip around all the time and then they would stand and then an explosion would happen behind them for some random reason. Please do that in the movie, just for no reason at all. Just have the Power Rangers standing and then an explosion just happens behind them and they kind of look back and go, what just happened? <laughs> I need that. I'm personally fine with them being out of the suits and having the powers. Although my concern, which I think is probably the concern of people who have this complaint, is this probably means we're not gonna get a lot of in-suit Power Ranger stuff till maybe later in the movie, like the second half, or maybe even the third act. But I think that's to be expected. This is gonna be origin story territory. But then again, over time in the Power Rangers series, the Power Rangers were able to fight the putties without being in their suits. And then when the monsters showed up, that's usually when they changed to the suit. So I'm guessing this is kind of a similar thing where they do have some powers, they're able to do strong things, 
just as normal people, but I'm sure when Rita goes full attack with the monsters and the putties and everything like that, they're going to need to morph into those suits in order to really take on the battle. And speaking of morphing, we got to see the suits. We got to hear it's morphing time. It was said. The suits got put on. They got that slow-mo walk. It was like all the quintessential superhero stuff. You got the slow-mo walk coming out, getting ready to fight all in the dark tent so it looks all menacing. You got the superhero landing. All five of them did a superhero landing. You got them doing their punches and kicks because it's movies and you know how dare you have a mask over your face looks like their helmets are gonna be able to open up from the front so you will be able to see their face but the rest of their helmet is still on interesting look I kind of wish that they did something like that for the OG Power Rangers movie it's morphing time now we'll go sit and drink some coffee while our stunt doubles do everything obviously it's a way to show the cast members more and more but you know what's nice about that is at least you do realize there's gonna be scenes where the cast will be in their Power Rangers suits. There will be stunt doubles, but at least there will be some scenes, some close-ups or some cockpit scenes where you will see the actual Ranger cast in the actual suit, but now just, you know, opened up so you can see their face. That's different. God forbid this movie does something different. Except the one difference I can't stand, and that's Goldar. I'm sorry, <laughs> I keep trying, man, but I just, I cannot get behind this Goldar thing. And I get it, because what we see in this movie is what I'm assuming are the putties and it shows that Rita makes the putties by using her staff to send power to the ground the concrete comes up and she's able to morph those into putties into monsters to fight so I'm assuming that Goldar is gonna be the same thing it looks like there's a scene where it looks like she's in a jewelry store some kind of place where there probably is some gold so she probably gets a bunch of gold to make Goldar I get it but you know not only is Goldar a specific character from Power Rangers and had a specific look, but also monsters are a big part of Power Rangers. And even though they were cheesy, rubber costume suits, they still had some kind of personality to them. They at least had different designs for every single one. They did something neat with them. They had fun with them. And that's been an ongoing thing with the series from the first season all the way up to today. So it's kind of weird to see that kind of go away for generic CGI monster with no face it's just made of gold. I feel like that that's something that could have been a little bit more creative for this movie because I feel like everything else, they're trying different things. They're trying different things with the suits. They're trying different things with the Megazord. So that's just the one part I'm like, you, you kind of drop the ball on that because now it's, it's all about Rita. Like Rita is the villain and she looks great. I especially love the part where it looks like she's wearing a different color suit and then it turns into the green suit that we've been seeing her wear and her face has like, like all these veins in them and her eyes are turning green. Like all that stuff's awesome. Rita looks awesome in this. Different interpretation of Rita than from the show and I didn't know how to feel about it but the more and more I see her, the more and more I'm liking it. So I just wish that she would have had a monster that also gave me that same feeling that like feeling of like, this is different, but I really like this because it's an interesting design. I'll be fine with it, but that I can't, oh, that's my only, that's my one biggest gripe about this movie is Godar. Like all the other stuff, all the other changes I can deal with, that Goldar is going to be tough, especially since that's going to obviously be the final act of this movie. But who knows? Maybe there's a different form of Goldar that we're not seeing because this was the large version of Goldar. Maybe there are other monsters in this movie. Maybe there's a certain someone that I would love to see in this movie, but they probably shouldn't show him if he is in this movie. And if he is in this movie, maybe he's a teaser. And if he is in this movie, don't show him. <laughs> Let me be surprised. And I know some people are complaining about the fact that they use a Kanye West song. The, the song is called Power. You, you knew they were going to have to find some song with power. It was either this or they're going to go back in the day. I got power. Uh, uh, eh. <laughs> you knew they were going to do that. You really thought they were going to just play Go-Go Power Rangers in the movie trailer. Nice try. They played at the end. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm pretty sure they're going to have some more orchestra stuff in the movie. But come on, man. You knew they were going to do this. But that would have been actually funny if they did play I Got the Power. <laughs> <laughs> I got the power, you break my heart, you break my heart of mine. <laughs> we need a little bit more, snap, was that what it was? Snap, yeah, snap the power. I was going to say CNC Music Factory, but it, which pretty much sounds the same. Um, snap. <laughs> we need more snap in trailers. If Deadpool did this trailer, he would have put snap the power in there. We got that Jason Kimberly kiss again. Mm, oh, but what about Tommy and Kimberly? Look, if they decide to bring Tommy into this somehow, don't you think that makes for some interesting stuff if she's already up with Jason and then it's like, hold up, who's this new guy? That's called storytelling. Then we'll all have our t-shirts. Team Jason, Team Tommy. <laughs> Come on, man, it's Lionsgate. You don't have to throw some Twilight stuff up in there. We are the people that gave you the Hunger Games. We'll do all this Power Ranger action stuff, but we need some kissy kiss <laughs> or else this movie ain't getting made. <laughs> what you gonna do, Saban? <laughs> 
<laughs> I am Lionsgate. I have to say, for all the cool stuff we see, it kind of hits the beats. Like, you kind of can feel how the movie is going to work out. Although, let's be honest, if you know Power Rangers, if you got a sense of how the show worked, you probably figured out the beats long before they even knew this movie was getting made. And then the Megazord. They were really cool with the Megazord. They showed him rising, they showed him from a distance, and they showed that really quick shot at the end where he's punching. Let's be honest, I think that looks better than this. <laughs> Paint this better. Obviously gonna be the final act in this movie. That's gonna be the climaxes, the big Megazord versus Goldar fight. I think it's fine. I just, I, I just, I know there are people who are concerned. I know there are the complaints, but I just don't know what you're comparing this to. This is Power Rangers with a budget. And I mean a solid budget. Like, I'm sorry. If you don't like this, that's fine. But I am sick and tired of the, oh, this looks like Max Steel. Are you serious? Max Steel had a $5 million budget and looked like crap from day one. Every trailer, TV spot, everything about it looked like crap. Looked like $5 million cheap crap. Look, I'm not a fan of the Transformers movies, but I will admit, them Transformers look awesome on the big screen. They do. Rest of it, blah, but they do. Power Rangers, same vein on a lower scale. I think for a Power Rangers movie, that's a good, decent budget Power Rangers movie. Let's just hope that the story around it works out too. Max, come on. Y'all just say that because that's the last bad movie you remember seeing. Although I will say I still don't get the multiple legs on the Zords. Why did the Triceratops and the Mastodon got multiple legs? Did you not study dinosaurs? In school, you just decided dinosaurs existed a long time ago. No one remembers. Let's just have fun with it. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That saber-toothed tiger jumping on Goldar, though. Oh, man. And the Tyrannosaurus shooting those cannons. This made me young again, man. Like, like little kid Andre took over and was just like, yeah. I don't think this is dark. I mean, this is probably the lighter stuff of the movie in the trailers, but who knows? But uh, th this doesn't look dark to me just because there's a little bit of shade on this trailer or in some of the scenes, there's not as much light. That doesn't mean it's dark. dark. That's not the definition for me of a dark movie. I'm even cool with cheesy. I'm even cool with silly and goofy. As long as the actors can carry the non-ranger scenes and it doesn't come off boring, it works for me. I'm just hoping that that this trailer is a good representation of what the movie is going to be. Because if that is, then what I'm seeing is a bigger budget, but still Power Ranger-y type of Power Ranger thing. Fingers crossed. Hope you be good. What do you think? Are you excited? Are you hype? Or are your fingers crossed? Or do you have concerns? And it is totally fine to have concerns. But if you are still in that, oh, it's not the Power Ranger movie I wanted. I'm sorry. It's not the Power Ranger movie any of us wanted because it's also not 1993. Sorry, your fan fiction is not coming true the way you want it to. But you know, that's why you write fan fiction. <laughs> you do you. If I can deal with how they did turtles <laughs> and chipmunks and smurfs, you're going to be all right with Power Rangers. It's Power Rangers, y'all. Let's just be real. It's Power Rangers, y'all. That's all you gotta keep selling yourself. Hashtag, it's Power Rangers, y'all. I don't know how you spell y'all, but figure it out <laughs> and then make it a hashtag. <laughs> Thumbs up this video, and if you're new here, clickety-click that subscribe button. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi5000, chain chomp, yelp.